what's happening karma kicks here and i'm bringing you a different kind of video today today i'm doing another how to video this one is on how to make video thumbnails now i'll show you some examples up on the screen right now what i'm talking about thumbnails are what you find at the beginning of the video when you saw this video on youtube you saw an image that made you want to click on it right well hopefully that's how you found my video but anyway, so what I'm going to do is take you through step by step what I do to create my artwork. Somebody asked me about this uh, after I made my how to video on how I make my videos and so or how I edit my videos. And so I decided to kind of show you guys the process I go through. All right. Step one. Step one is definitely finding the perfect screenshot when you're making a video. Um, what are you doing? What are you playing? You know, I'm always playing Minecraft, so this is how I figure this out. But um, if you build something really cool or you see something really neat or you just have a great moment in Minecraft, hit that F2 key, take the screenshot. This is how I take my screenshots. I'm usually trying to find the perfect angle. It's kind of like when you're taking a selfie. You want that perfect angle. And once I find it, I click F1 to get everything off my screen and then I click F2 and take that screenshot and now I have a beautiful picture of my house. Now it's very easy to do this no matter what game you're playing. Um, just always remember to make those screenshots look really good. Step two is having the perfect program. Now I use Pixlr. I use this for every single one of my images. I really do. I do it for all my editing needs, everything. Because I, in the past, I've used Photoshop, I've used Paint, I've used a lot of different programs. Pixlr is free, it's easy, and that's why I love it. <laughs> so what I do is I just click this button here. It's pixlr.com. I'll leave a link down in the description. I go to Pixlr Editor, Launch Web App, and once in a while you gotta click the little button there. All right, so now it gives you the option to do, uh, you can create a new image, open an image from computer, um, open from a URL, or open from library, which I've actually never used the library. Uh, I've never really used the M URL either. I always open an image from my computer. So what I'm going to do on here is I have a file full of pictures. This is my Minecraft pictures. You can see a lot of our thumbnails already done on here. Um, up here I have, let's see, uh, da, 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 Pixlr files. You can save these files and you can come back and edit them later. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just what I'm looking for. What I usually do is something like this. This is my Minecraft PC noob. Now this, I have it saved as a Pixlr file because I can come back in and edit this anytime. So this time I'm going to show you how I do a new one. So what I would do is I want to get my images together. First of all, I'm going to need that screenshot. So I have, let's see, in my video stuff, uh, I think it's screenshot shortcut. There we go. This takes me to my screenshots. You, It's real easy to find your screenshots. Um, hopefully you know how to do this by now. Otherwise, what you would do is you would go to your start menu, click uh, run right here. And you're going to want to look for, um, I think it's uh, not this. <laughs> this is something different. It's app data, roaming, and then Minecraft. And that's what you would look for. And then once you get that, you can go to screenshots. And you should be able to find your screenshots that way. Now, like I said, I have mine saved in an easy to find folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pick the screenshot we just took. So then what I want to do is I want to open some images that will help me to make this better. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go to Minecraft Pictures and we'll go to my channel art. So I have lots of different things for my channel art. Um, I'm not seeing the one I want to use. So now I've got to find my picture. I don't know where it is. I this is weird. Okay, guys, now I've got it. I'm pretty sure I've got it now. All right, so I'm going to select all. I'm going to click copy. And then I'm going to click paste on here. Now I want to free transform because I want to be able to make this 
bigger, but I don't want it to look distorted. So I'm just going to do a little something like that. That should be good. So I use all this artwork and all the artwork that I have gotten, I've actually gotten from my niece. And she, I will leave a link down in the description to her artwork. She is amazing and she did all of the artwork for my channel. So definitely go check her out. If you're interested in getting some artwork for your channel, she's the one to go to for sure. All right, so I've got my girl here. Now I need some text. And I just kind of play around with different text. Now I do use a lot of different fonts. Um, one way to get fonts I'm going to show you right now is if you go to Google fonts, let me get the exact fonts.google.com. That's what it is. If you go here to Google fonts and you can actually adjust some of these, you can just do, let's say, let's just do handwriting and look at that you get a million different fonts to choose from you can sit here and play around with it how thick you want it if you want it a little thicker or if you want it a little smaller that's you know it's all up to you you basically you just choose what you want and you can find any kind of font if you have something in mind go and look for it this is the easiest way to find different kinds of fonts to use now, one thing I will show you, I'm just going to pick a random one here. You hit the plus sign to add it. Over here, what you're going to want to do is you're, wanna, you're going to want to go up here to download. Once you click download, you could save it to any file. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put it in my downloads folder. So after you do that, you're going to want to open that up, click on the actual font, and then up here in the corner, hit install. Now that's gonna install it to your computer. So no matter what program you use, you'll be able to find that font. So let's get back to work. So now I've chosen a font. Um, I'm just gonna pick any one here, that's fine. And I'm gonna say, I think I put on there Minecraft PC Noob, I don't know. This isn't gonna be my exact one because you know I'm doing this a little differently just to show you guys how it's done. So. On the text, all you do is basically you click this little A here, click anywhere on the picture and you can add text and this little box comes up. You type whatever you want to say in here and you can type multiple things like we can say uh, episode one here and you can also center that. Um, you can make it smaller or bigger by clicking on the size and just dragging it back and forth. You can also change the style. You can make it more bold. You can make it italic, um, bold and italic. <laughs> um, and let's see what else. I think that's about it here. You can also change the color. Now you can change the color to anything you want. You can actually use this little dropper thing that comes up and change it to a color from Minecraft if you wanted. Um, or you could use bright colors, like let's say bright red, because bright red definitely stands out a lot more on videos. So now let me show you something special with this. Let's go ahead and get rid of the episode one thing. We'll just keep it Minecraft PC Noob. Now if I was going to keep it red, what I want to do is if you could tell, it's kind of blending into the background. We don't want that. We want it to stand out, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to Layers. Now right here in the corner is, or right here is layer styles. It's got like a little star thing. We're gonna go to layer styles. Now here we can add a drop shadow onto our wording. So let's play around with that a little bit and you can adjust these settings however you want and it gives it a little bit of a shadow. Let's say right about there. So then what we're gonna do is come down here to outer glow. I like to put an outer glow on almost all of my stuff because it highlights it. It makes it stand out. You can choose any color you want for the outer glow. No matter what it is, it's really going to stand out. I prefer white most of the time because it really helps it stand out. You can also choose how hard it is if you want it to look kind of bubbly. You can choose the size of it so you can take that down a little bit. Um, I think we're going to go like 
right about there. That looks really good and it helps it stand out a little bit. You may even have to adjust the shadow a little bit to make it look more normal. So that's about it for that. You can also change the opacity of it if you wanted it to kind of blend in a lot more and things like that. You can play around with different things like that. What I do is I like to put a little bit of a, a shadow on the picture sometimes if I really want them to stand out or especially when I'm working on things like in my video, at the beginning of my video, my intro pictures, I will put a little shadow across the picture. And the way you do that is simply come over here and what you're going to do is you're going to add a new layer by clicking on this little paper thing. On the new layer, we're going to do the color white over here and we're going to pick up the paint bucket and we're just going to paint over it. You can't see the picture, right? Well, then you're going to come over here to toggle layer settings and you're going to change the opacity. Now you can take it down and see how it just creates a little bit of a smoke screen over the picture. I kind of like that on some pictures. So that's it. That's how you do it. Now, another thing I like to do is I like to mark what episode I'm talking. I forgot to mention that we should probably do a new layer for this. Seeing as, uh, yeah, we put that white layer on there and it had an opacity. So that's why it came up so light. So this is what we're going to want to do, just like this. Now, we're going to take that eraser and we're going to cut out a shape just like that. And then we could kind of perfect it a little bit. If we wanted to come down a little bit, we could um, kind of get some angles. Look at that. I really like that. I don't, like I said, I don't like it to be perfect. I like it to look like a little banner there. And you can play around with this and choose whatever brush you want. Now, we're going to come back over here and we're going to do the opacity again. We're going to take it down because we don't want it to be bright and shiny. Now, we're going to get the text bar and we're going to add in episode one. We'll just, yeah, for the heck of it. So, uh, that's how we do that. Put it on there however you want. I usually like the bottom text to be over a little bit because there's a little symbol right here that shows up on YouTube videos. So it kind of blocks any text that you have there. So that's it. That's, it's not the best. I could probably make it look a lot better if I spent a lot more time with it. But this is really just to show you what you can do. Something else I want to show you really quick is you notice up here this text is kind of small and you might want it a little bigger, but unfortunately, we took it all the way to the top, 130. There is a way to make it bigger, however. All you have to do is come over here to layers. Let's pull this down a little bit so I can see it. You're going to see where it says Minecraft PC New. You're going to right click. You're going to go down to rasterize layer. That's going to make it a solid layer. It's no longer text. It's not editable. So then we're going to go down to edit and free transform. And now we can make it bigger and <laughs> forgot to turn my phone off. So now we can make it bigger and make it look a lot better. And yeah, we can play around with this. And really, you can do anything with these pictures. You're not limited to just what I can do. There are so many options. Okay, guys, another step I wanted to show you. Somebody asked me how I make um, like the tree symbols whenever I do my tree seven uh, videos. Now, the way I do that, I actually Googled it. What I looked for was tree um, font. And I just kind of tried to find different images. Now, when you, go I mean, I Google everything. Like, you can sit here and get on Google and you can find a picture of anything you want. The only thing you have to be careful for is stuff that is copyrighted. You can't use stuff that's copyrighted, obviously, for, you know, the reason that they want to sell their stuff and you have to pay for it. So, otherwise, you can come on here and find many different images that you are able to use. So, I just kind of searched for tree font and See what I could come up with and then I'm gonna show you in here I'm gonna open up my pixlr file for tree and show you 
I actually came up with something pretty cool, I thought. I found these letters, and now I found them all separately, and then I just kind of edited them in by making the T a little bigger, the R and the E's a little smaller, and I think it turned out really perfect. You can see down here, I used green for my little layover for my episode, and I even cut it out using one of those um, erasers. And then I just put a different little picture in here and put my season seven, episode zero. And I actually made that with a different font that is Javanese text. So I just found something that would go along with it. I wanted something elegant and very nice. And that's it. So now I wanna show you how to save this. What I'm gonna do is I will go to file and you wanna go to save. Now, if you're saving it as a picture you want to use on your YouTube channel for your thumbnail, save it as a PNG. Don't save it as a JPEG because PNG files are significantly smaller, but you get the full quality. So no matter what, you're going to be able to upload it. YouTube uh, thumbnails, you're only allowed to upload so many megabytes, I think. So definitely better to save it as a PNG. And then you just click OK, save it to whatever file you want to save it to. Now, if you're saving it as a Pixlr file, so you can come back and edit this at any time, you're going to go to Save, click on Format, and go down to PXD, Layered Pixlr Image. And then you're going to click OK. Then you're going to save it to whatever file you want it saved to. Now. I'm going to show you something else with this. You can also um, open up Photoshop files. I found this out. You can open Photoshop files and use them on Pixlr. You're not limited to just Pixlr files. So keep that in mind. Any kind of layered image you can work with on here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and open up my tree seven. I'm going to be doing a tree video this week. So let me get this open. I will need my screenshot that I took today. And let's see, screenshot shortcut. And it's this one right here, beautiful parrot. Now, let me show you how I do this. So this is my Pixlr file. Um, I have this saved just this way. It's I, everything I want is in place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the screenshot. I'm gonna go to edit, select all, edit, and copy and then over here I'm gonna go all the way down I want it behind the tree uh, the T and tree so I'm going to click edit and paste and then I'm gonna have to unlock the T and take it down under the T that's it that's a perfect screenshot for me I love it I think everything stands out very nicely now I'm going to edit the episode number because I'm way past episode zero so I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna click on the text. Erase the zero and put an eight. And that's it. And now I just have to save it. I click file and save. And remember, we're saving as a PNG, which is a transparent photo, but it doesn't come out transparent, don't worry. We're gonna go to Minecraft Pictures and I'm going to save it as Tree 7, Episode 8. And that's it. And now I have my thumbnail for today's video. That's it. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. Hopefully you learned a little something from how I edit my video, my images. And hopefully this helps you in the future for sure. So I think that's going to be it for me today, guys. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe so you can see more awesome videos like this one. I will see you all next time. Bye.